Hey everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. On this video we're going to be doing the assignment Movie Night Snacks. And we can pick this one up on the Tempest. So we should be able to fast travel out to the docks and make this much quicker. So let's go ahead and do just that. Okay, and on to the Tempest. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. What are their expectations? Show them respect. They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Okay, so let's take a look around the ship before we pick up that assignment. And that assignment is from Suvi. Your dad was Turian? That explains so much. What's that supposed to mean? Here we go. You know, how uptight you are. I am not uptight. Not even 300 years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. Alright, so I'm sure I've got AVP to collect. And three rewards, we'll take them. And let's see what Vetra's up to. I thought I hated the Ket before. Then we learned about Exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. Tell me about raising Sid. I was curious about you and Sid. Being on your own from such a young age? Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. What about your mother? Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where'd you live? Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did you survive? How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. I'll let you go. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Okay, and let's check in on the strike teams. See how they did. Hotel successful. Juliet, successful. Kilo, successful. And Golf, successful. Very nice. Alright, well, we'll send them on some new stuff. Let's see here. Kilo's got an 81% chance. Why is that? It's cat scary and enemies everywhere. Ah, because they're bloodthirsty. Okay, well, we'll send Kilo on that one. And Juliet's got a good chance on this one, and why is that? Nighttime, Silent and Deadly and Ket, and that's because they've got Heroic. Okay, well, or actually that's because they got uh, Stealthy. Okay, well, we'll send them on that one. And then we'll just do two bronze ones, so... 
Wow, Hotel's got a 91% chance. Maybe they can do Silvers now. Let's see. Actually, now let's... I might try sending a Kilo on a gold one soon. So for now, let's just have Hotel do a bronze. And then Golf can do a bronze. And we'll collect all our rewards. And still need a lot more mission funds to get a fifth team. Not even close. Okay, what's PB up to? We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find. And this Meridian might jumpstart all the others. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. Meridian. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. I'll leave you to it. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay, uh, let's see. We'll talk to Jaw later. We'll also talk to Cora later. So, where do we want to go? I guess we could go back here. This door would ever open up. Now, exaltation. The cat just keep asking for more trouble. Really looking forward to kicking those guys in the teeth. Get us there, and we'll save you a place in line. Alright, um... We'll talk to Drac later. Let's talk to Gil. Did I hear right? You're going after the Archon ship? Looks like it. Last time we crossed his path, you nearly broke my baby here. Now tell me you have a better plan of escape this go around. Of course, or nope. Nope. We'll be winging it, as usual. <sighs> I'll get my tools. Just... Stay out of the skirt, huh? Talk to you later. Gonna Good leave him you. super confident. Anytime. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's go down. Who else do we got? Thought I heard Cora down here, but I guess she's back in her room. Go see what Lexi's up to. Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are Ket. There must be a way to fix them. We can hope, or there's not always a solution. There's not always a solution. We need to be prepared that there might not be. Jarl, remember what we talked about? <sighs> that we should examine the problem objectively? <sighs> Excuse me. Grief is never easy, but Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're right, or we don't know that. We don't know that. We've barely scratched the surface of what Cat are capable of. The exalted are new beings. It's more than a transformation, it's a birth. There's no going back. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. But not your only one. And you're taking good care of him. Just remember why you came here too. There is a new alien species on your table. My hands actually shook when I made the first incision. See this bone-like armor? It feels as strong as a Krogan's frontal plate. I'll take your word for it. 
I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. Okay, and that probably... Well, we got someone talking. I get you, pal. Inane chats are about nothing coming up. Okay, so that probably got me some new codexes. And it did. The journey so far, a crew like no other. Lexi Tapero. Lexi is beginning to feel more comfortable in a role as Tempest Doctor. This is in no small part due to your support for how she trusts the crew or treats the crew and her interest in researching Ket. Uh, I think I had that before. Yeah, don't think anything else is new. Okay, I don't think there's anything new on the crew info board. Nope. And we'll talk to Liam later. Nobody's in the kitchen. Let's go see what Sam's up to and we'll check my email. Can we talk on camera? To Ryder from Carrie Tavessa. Hello, Ryder. The things I'm hearing, a, the things I'm hearing, a garden world. What the heck? It's a weird sentence. A whole new species. If if you can talk on the record, you know where to find me. Carrie. Uh, so let's go ahead and acknowledge that. We'll head back to the Nexus at some point. Then we have messages to the Nexus. To Ryder from Director Jaren Tan. Ryder, I've been reviewing all the messages you forwarded from the Angaran populace. It's encouraging to see that even in these initial phases of contact, we have supporters among them. Though it's equally clear we have our work cut out for us and winning over the rest. But I'm confident you're on the right track. I would have been surprised if the Angara hadn't expressed skepticism. First contact, first contact is a complicated situation, and if roles were reversed, I'd be suspicious of them if they arrived on our doorstep. Thank you for passing these messages along. They'll provide, about, they'll provide invaluable insight as we navigate these tricky waters. Director Tan. Thanks for listening. Two writer from Liam. Nuff said. Costa. That last talk. Two writer from Vetra. Writer, thanks for listening to me. I hope I didn't come across whiny. Could my life have been different? Sure. Could have had a dad, a mom, a rigid up upbringing and great prospects in the Turian civil service with the stiff collars and the yes sirs to go along with, to, eh, to go along. Can't talk today. What I'm saying is, difference not always better. I don't regret anything, or what I've done to get where I am. Don't regret coming here either, Vetra. Update on Jal, to Ryder from Lexi. Ryder, thought you should know, I spoke to Jal. After some reflection, he seems to accept that the process of exaltation cannot be reversed. Thank you for backing me up. I know it's not easy delivering bad news, especially to a friend, but sometimes it's the only way we can move forward and begin to heal. I will continue to run tests and study the data you obtained from the Kep facility regarding exaltation. I don't expect the results to change, but it can't hurt to be thorough. Lexi. Communication from Jal. To Ryder from Jal. To Scott. Ryder. The Moshai sent some news from Aya that she asked me to share with you. Under her guidance, officials are again allowing study in the Aya Vault. It comes with great risk, of course, so she's restricting participation to her brightest students, under armed guard. Although she doesn't have your ability to interface with the Remnant, she wants to be ready to assist you, however she can, once Meridian is found. These are interesting and exciting times. Jal. Okay, and apparently I never acknowledged that, so let me do that. And then the others are quests we'll be doing a little bit later. So we'll do those in a bit. And the rest of them are old messages, I believe. Yes. Okay. Hello, Scott. Humor. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why do Elcor start stampedes? Because they wish to be heard. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Thanks. still needs work. Okay, uh, what else? We should go up to the bridge. 
and talk to Kalo, and then we'll talk to Suvi. And actually, at least we managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have saved more. Before we do that, let's see if uh, let's see if PB's in here. Uh, no, nope, not at the moment. I don't believe it. Gills reconfigured our entire nav array. O'Connell risked a dozen spacewalks putting that in place. Damn it. Callow, don't. Take the helm. I've had enough of this. You don't give a damn what my team and I went through to build this ship. No, I don't. I care about us surviving out here, and if that means redesigning... You don't have the right! What's this about? All right, let's talk this out. What's going on? I'm doing my job, and he's undoing it because... Hell if I know! You weren't here. We had to get all kinds of new tech working in a single starship. Fifty hour shifts, epiphanies, accidents. Humans can forget. Salarians can't. To me, it's all still happening. My team is here. Stripping down the Tempest like some broken radio risks everything they suffered to build. Their legacy. Are you sure that's fair? If he had the Tempest up on blocks, I might see it. Look, Kahlo, your people did a great job, but they're dead. And they couldn't have anticipated half the problems in Helios. Like the Scourge. If we don't adapt, we'll die too. Is that what you want their legacy to be? Gutting a complex ship out in space isn't adapting. It's irresponsible and disrespectful. Oh boy. I agree with Kahlo, or Gil is right. Well, I agree with both of them. Gil wants to make adaptions to what's going on, and Kahlo doesn't want him screwing with a complex ship while we're out flying around. So crap, they're both right. Um, well, if I agree with Kahlo, that's not saying that Gil can't change things. He just has to let people know when he's doing it. So I think I'll agree with Kahlo. The Tempest has too many new systems doing new things to just adapt on the fly. If we make changes, let's make them carefully and with respect. She's your ship. I just hope you know what you're doing. Ryder, I... I know it's not... Thank you. Okay, it's over. Let's get back to work. All right, well, we settled that. Hopefully, we won't regret it. And that probably gave me a new codex, and it did. The journey so far, crew like no other, Kalo Jath. You sided with Kalo over Gil in the, in the argument about the Tempest modifications. Kalo is clearly glad that you understand how he feels. Okay, it's time to get that assignment. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. Okay, we got the assignment. Movie night snacks. Suvi has offered to make snacks for Liam's movie night, but needs more specific ingredients. Find a plant on Aya for Suvi. Okay, so we're going right back down to the planet.
Okay, and I suppose I could fast travel. I don't know if it's much quicker, but why not? Let's do it. And let's see, we need to go there. Fast travel. Okay, we need to talk to this merchant right here. Pathfinder. And we're looking for special items. A Tavarv plant. A nutritious plant which properly dried and prepared is given to Angaran children as a snack. A whole 10 credits? I can't afford that. Okay, I return the plant to Suvi on the Tempest. Uh, where the heck did I come from again? Ah, right here. Wanted to eavesdrop on someone, couldn't figure out who was talking. Anyways, back to the Tempest. Jarl said he wanted to see you. I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off duty. I've already got ideas for how to jazz it up. And I'll keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like them. Just not when Gil is glowering at me. All right. And that task or assignment rather is done and we leveled up. And I think I probably got a new codex, but I didn't. But I did get seven or 270 experience and some credits. Alright, we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.